the same route that I came up on. This is the exact same route that I came up. And it would have been an absolute nightmare to drive down on. The thing that I love the most about India is its diversity. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was in tropical jungle uh, and now in the same country on the same visa, I'm in a barren desert wasteland uh, of icy mountains. I'm here to try to uh, explore some of this state on a bike, which is the best way to do this and see if we can meet some interesting people along the way. These mountains, they could just be unforgiving. And if you turn your back on these mountains for a second, they can chew you up and spit you out. Which is why I always try to carry at least seven bottles of frozen piss. Just 10 minutes ago, it was warm like a desert. Now it's literally like snowy mountains. But I genuinely don't think I can go any further because it's, I cannot fucking tell you how cold it is. So I'm trying to get to the highest motorable point in the world, Cardin La, uh, in Ladakh. It's usually very easy to get to in certain times of the year, in the season. However, I've been super unlucky and on this drive, the snow, the first snow of the season has come in, meaning, meaning I, it's impossible for me to go any further and it's impossible for me to go back the other way because there's black ice on the roads now. It's too icy on my motorbike. I can't do it. So we're basically stuck and my mustache is frozen. I've met some other dudes from, they're from the south of India and they're, they're on, the, on bikes as well. So, hey, snow dogs. So, this is your guy's car? Wicked, wicked. Okay, bro. I can sit, dude, I can sit, I can sit in the back. I'm gonna sit in here. So these guys are helping us. They're gonna load our bikes onto their truck, meaning that we can get back to Leh, back to the main city. It's actually really cool and snowy here. It's insane, this morning, you saw this morning, I was in dry, desolate area, dry, desolate, rocky mountains. Literally about 10 kilometers later, I'm in the fucking, it's snowing, it's amazing. Where are we? We're in South Pulu. We're in South Pulu. So they said, we can't go this way. Those are just your skis. Yeah, one of them is mine. So they said, we can't go this way. And to go down, the road is too slippy for a bike. So we're fucked, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Four or five days from now, it will be a good time to go to go to the pass. I just got super unlucky and have to wait until some more days. Snow is just this lovely, powdery, fine, so nice. So that was my bike. One more bike to go. I think this has got to be the biggest fail in motorcycle history and travel history. This morning I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go and see the, the highest motor world in the world. 10 kilometers later, I'm getting my bike stuffed into the back of a pickup truck to go back down to Ley. Hey. Huh? Uh, gotcha. Ah, uh, they want to, I think they want need you to remove these. Yeah. To fit on. Fit in, eh? Yeah. See, even to move one bike right now because of this black ice, because of this snow, 
takes three guys to move it. So imagine one person trying to drive it back down the mountain. I tried for about half a kilometre and I just slipped and slipped and slided all the way down. Um, and it was just way too dangerous. Thank God these dudes are here. Local guys from the Nubra Valley putting our bikes in their pickup truck and helping us out. It's just the best. So now we're actually going to be tying the bikes to the back of an open pickup truck. <laughs> These guys have got like two grand's worth of drones in their thing, so it's like protected at all costs. Yeah. One day, I will definitely come to England. <laughs> Please do. Okay, nice ride. Now we can go back to that. <laughs> okay, I will. Uh, yeah, my helmet is here. They're literally even giving us the clothes off their own back because it's so cold. You will not meet you will not meet nicer people in the world than here in India, here in Ladakh. It's just amazing. Okay, cello, back to LA. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. I just can't imagine how it would have been to drive down here on a motorbike. This is the same route that I came up with. This is the exact same thing that I came up. And it would have been an absolute nightmare to drive down on. It's insane. If you want to survive out here in these unforgiving mountains of North India, I mean, these mountains will literally, they will literally chew you up and spit you out in a minute. I'm going to start drinking my own piss. You just would not believe that this is India. I said before, you've got the the, the, de the tar deserts in the west you've got i was in jungles in nagaland in the east jungles and rainforest in keller and kerala in the south and snowy himalayas in the north and it's just my favorite part about india is this landscape diversity everywhere you go it's fucking awesome excuse my french We're just getting down out of the snowstorm, back down to the bottom of the mountain. It's so hard to believe that just one kilometer away behind us is torrential snowstorm. So you can see the uh, this range of Himalayan mountains behind me. Himalaya is just at the bottom here, which is back to where we're going. boys that gave me a lift in the truck are having a go on the old Enfield. <laughs> so crazy if he just doesn't come back. <laughs> We've got the entire population of Ladakh now having a go on my bike. Be careful bro! Nice bike. Indian bikes, Indian yes. bikes. Yeah. Right, gotta say thank you to my new Kerala brothers, my Lataki brothers. Woo! Woo! Thank you so much. Bro. Wicked, wicked. Some days you have days like that, which uh, where you have a plan, something you want to do, somewhere you need to go, and then it gets turned on its head. And sometimes it's like, you know, I wanted to do that thing. I'm sad, I'm sad I didn't get to go to Kadung, Kadung La. However, I had an awesome adventure with a group of really cool people. Uh, and and I, I, we offered some money because they gave us a lift down. And they said, whatever you, whatever you think, what, as you wish, is what they said. So we said, okay, we'll give them a thousand rupees each. And then the Carolyn guys that I was with, that I met up there, wouldn't let me pay. They wouldn't let me pay my thousand rupees towards it. They covered my thing. So it's just another example of the kindness and hospitality that I've experienced here in India. And I love it and it moves me. So thank you. Beautiful city of Leh. <laughs> 